where you want it. Bay 12, please. Hello there, Transformers fans, and welcome back to another Bay 12 video. And today we have finished, well, we, I have finished building the new Lego Optimus Prime collab set, and it was a very fun build. I don't know if you've actually watched the build video all the way through or not, um, but which there were some issues with recording, so hopefully um, what you did watch, you enjoyed, because sitting there watching me build this thing, because <laughs> um, building this thing was a lot of fun. This was a really, really cool set. I, I don't really do a whole lot of Legos. I used to when I was much, much younger. In fact, a lot of my first collectible toys were, in fact, Lego. Um, I was super into it, super into it when I was a little kid, but, I mean then I shifted into action figure collectibles and that's kind of like my mainstay but um, this this thing is incredible uh, I can certainly say that if Lego does another Transformers character they probably got me for the next one if, if they've got that because like I said this was a lot of fun to build while I don't usually do Legos it, it did take me back to a lot of that um, a childhood joy of just putting together a Lego set, just going through the book, just going going piece by piece and assembling this thing. And the just the level of engineering in this set is incredible. I mean, after putting it together, it really is just a very awesomely articulated Optimus Prime toy. And it does fully transform in both modes. The transformation is simple but fun. And it looks good in both modes, in my opinion. Now, I didn't really do much modding to this. I know there's a lot of uh, master builders, I'll say, out there who, um, who have a lot of awesome tips on cool ways to make this build even better. Um, I kind of like it as it is, for the most part. I did, I did do one modification as I was building it. Um, there's, there's a... Uh, when, when you get to building the hands there's a piece you put on to connect all of the fingers together I just didn't put those pieces on because I thought it was cooler to have his fingers individually articulate in my opinion so that's really the only modification if, if that I did to this if, if, if you want to call it that um, I just opted out to put those pieces on there just because I thought it was cooler having the fingers actually move. So um, here is that awesome book. Like I said in the first video where I talked about Optimus Prime and the legacy of the character and what it means to me, um, I said I was going to go over the book one more time for you guys because who knows how many people actually watched that first video. So in case you missed it, uh, here is the booklet. Again, very, very nice. I love the big half Autobot logo there on the front. Um, and like I mentioned in the previous vi video, I kind of wish that they just had like Optimus Prime somewhere here on the cover. I think that would have been just uh, like a nice little touch. Um, you got a little bit auto little Autobot symbol right down there on the bottom. Um, you open it up. Love that cover there. Such an awesome, awesome piece of artwork. Um, you got some words and things right here, which again, I will read aloud. <clears throat> Autobots convert and roll out. What started off in 1984 as a series of toy robots that could quickly change into other forms became a global cultural phenomenon encompassing comic books, video games, animations, and live action blockbuster movies. It's little wonder generations of fans continue to follow the epic battles between the Autobots and Decepticons for control of the planet of Cybertron and beyond. This Lego model of Optimus Prime, the charismatic leader of the Autobots, is the first time the Transformers universe is represented in Lego bricks. Enjoy. And I so very much did enjoy. So thank you so much, Lego, for doing this awesome piece right here. I certainly look forward to more. Um, but, yeah, I, I loved it. Uh, you, you guys picked the best character to possibly do first, and I'm happy y'all did it. On the next page... Uh, again, you got some awesome, awesome artwork of the Lego set itself. Um, and I mentioned this in the last video too. I think it would have been really, really cool, really, really nice had Lego included like an 8x10 print or maybe even a little bit larger 
of this artwork right here inside the box with the booklet and all the pieces and stuff. This may be like at the back of the box or the front of the box, wherever, um, you know, they deemed it would fit because that is some really, really awesome artwork. I love this. Again, it would have been cool to have a print of it. And then, you know, you got some words and things talking about Optimus Prime here to the side. <clears throat> the true hero of the Transformers universe is Optimus Prime. A powerful leader defined by his strong moral character and heroic feats on the battlefield against his arch enemy Megatron and the Decepticons. He carries the Matrix of Leadership, an ancient and powerful artifact that gives him upgraded abilities and knowledge of all Cybertronian history. There may be faster Transformers with more potent firepower, but everything else in the stats reinforces Optimus Prime's position as a dedicated leader and fearless warrior. His function, he is a commander. He has 10 strength, 10 intelligence, 8 speed, 10 endurance, his rank is 10, 10 courage, firepower 8, and skill is 10. I mean, he's mostly 10s across the board. It's, av it's an average score of 10. He's got two scores of 8 out of 8 scores. So, I mean, av average out, the dude's 10. You know, pretty, pretty great. Next up, uh, they have a description of the set again with all of its accessories, talking about the accessories, and... Of course, the lead designer over here. <clears throat> one shall stand, one shall fall. Just like the original toy, this Lego model of Optimus Prime is capable of turning from robot mode to truck mode and back. It also comes with many of his iconic accessories. An ion blaster, Energon Axe, Jetpack, the Autobot Matrix of Leadership. It also has an Energon Cube to give him energy to battle his evil foes. And those accessories are right here. So there's his Ion Blaster. Here's the Energon Axe. Here's the Energon Cube. And the Matrix of Leadership sits right there in his chest compartment. And it is removable. So very cool. We'll get to, we'll get to that more. Oh, and then the jetpack, which isn't his jetpack. I like that they don't say, um, well, I mean, they say his accessories, but and they just say jetpack. They don't say his jetpack. This is Sideswipe's jetpack. To be clear, he used this jetpack in the third episode of the original cartoon. I think he only used it that one time. He may have used it one other time. Sideswipe certainly used it a few other times in the series, though, because, well, it was Sideswipes. <clears throat> From the LEGO design team, quote, Transformers was what inspired me to become a toy designer. So I was very excited to use LEGO bricks to bring Optimus to life. There were many challenges in designing this model to make it both stable, dynamic, and faithful to the design of Optimus Prime. The most fun challenge, however, was getting him to change between modes without disassembly. To do this, I built block shapes of the major components, adjusting proportions to make both the robot mode and vehicle. The transformation had to be as simple as possible without compromising the look of either mode. Joseph Patrick Hyde, Senior Designer. Joseph. Again, I mentioned this in the first video. Um, thank you so much. You did a fantastic job on this. Uh, you and the whole team at LEGO that worked on this piece in Project, y'all did an amazing job. This is really, really cool. Um, definitely a, a, an iconic set. I, I, I just love how LEGO just keeps doing these really cool high-end collector sets from various portions of pop culture media from all over. And th this one is no exception. This one's definitely one of the greats. So really cool, and then of course the instructions, you know, there you go, there, there, there's all the building. Um, now on to the figure itself, now that it's assembled. So we have this awesome plaque here, talking about Optimus Prime and his stats. So we got to build that. He is very articulated in robot mode. His head is on a ball joint. His chest doors do open up with the matrix being removable. Uh, shoulder joints, full 360, in and out, in and out. Bicep, elbow, wrist, and forward and back. And since I didn't put that piece on, individual finger joints, and because of the way it assembles, you can even raise the thumb up for a 
thumbs up from Optimus Prime, which is pretty cool. Uh, you got a rotating waist joint. If you bring that, if you bring that up a little bit, here it's even easier if you do it like that. So yeah, you got a rotating waist joint right there. Um, move that a little bit. Hips. That piece is always coming off of the foot right there. It's so weird. Hips go out. Nothing at the knees except for the swivel. So no knee bending. Ankles. You got you got a little bit of toe there. A little bit of side pivoting forward and back. And that's pretty much it for his articulation in bot mode. As you can see, he can hold his accessories like his ion blaster. And if you, with either, with either hand, you can fold that arm down. Now the instructions say to remove the hand. You don't have to remove the hand for this to work. And then you take the little Energon axe and you plug it into that little port there. And you can have his axe on either arm. On the back, you got a couple of little tabs there. And then you just click on the jetpack. And that's nice and secure. So now he has his jetpack as well. And then here he is with his little Energon cube. And for comparison, here he is to the most comparable Optimus Prime, I think, as, as far as action figure toys go. Um, here he is next to the masterpiece number one, the MP1 Optimus Prime, or the 20th anniversary Optimus Prime. I think I think they're very awesome. I, I had a feeling, based on some of the images I had seen, that they were going to be kind of similar in size. Um, I didn't realize how that he was actually going to be a good amount larger than this one. So this this is quite a large figure, and this guy dwarfs him. So um, and and I love that even being a Lego set that they have similar play features like the Ion Blaster accessory, um, having the Energon axe over the hands, where you can just. Put the hand in and put the axe on. You know, I that that's just real, really awesome. That you know, this uh, this big Lego set that you put together yourself has similar play features and play patterns to a high-end adult collectible. Really awesome. Really great set. Um, and I, you know, honestly, I hope to do more LEGO reviews at some point here on Bay 12. I know that's not something we do a lot of content of. And I know a lot of our Bay 12 fans have our, our LEGO collectors themselves and like to build LEGOs. I mean, who doesn't? LEGOs is a lot of fun. It's an iconic brand, and it's been a long, around for a long time. All right. And down to transformation. So... It says there's not really any parts forming, and that's mostly true. There is technically a minor amount of parts forming. Um, so what that is is you take this piece right here off of where the front grill would be and replace it with this piece for while he's in truck mode. And that's really the only parts forming you should be doing it, doing to get him in his truck mode. So. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to hinge these flaps forward and bring that section forward. Um, I, I already have this hand kind of back or down, I guess. Um, I'm going to rotate that thumb back and then I'm going to rotate. Oop, took that piece off actually. Back on there. I'm going to rotate that thumb forward like so. I'm going to do the same thing over here, bring that around, rotate that thumb, bring those fingers down, and bring that arm down. There are these little hinge bits on the side. I'm going to flare those out. 
And then that's pretty much it for the arms right this second. Next, I'm gonna come to the legs. There are these inner clips. I love how they engineered into the set for you to secure the legs together for while he's in truck mode, that's awesome. And I'm gonna rotate the fuel tanks forward. Next, I'm going to turn Optimus completely around on his waist and ratchet his legs down. Next, I'm gonna just fold the feet down, resecure those pieces that I like. I don't know why those like to come off so much. Resecure those pieces right there. Now you can see he's just kinda uh, a, a got a big bot on truck wheels. Bring up those those forearms all the way like so. I'm gonna rotate the head around, fold it down, and it and it folds so nice and easy. I, I love that bit too. Alright, next we're going to rotate those shoulders, shoulders back like so. Again, leaving this kind of up in the air for the moment. And while we do that, we're gonna be pushing that forearm in. You want it over that wheel right there. The hand might come up, that's okay. Just push it back in as far as you can. Get all that nice and straightened up. Let me come around and look, yep. And then we're gonna bring down that section and that's pretty much one side all the way done. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that all over here. There we go. Bring that down. And last but not least, the last thing to do is to bring down that front grill section. This is going to tab into these two ports right here. Oh, there we go. We're gonna hopefully do it without disassembling anything. And then just kind of flatten all that out. And there he is in truck mode and his head came off luckily since it's Legos it's really easy to uh, reassemble everything if something like that happens all right there we go and there he is in truck mode and he looks awesome in truck mode again nice and simple to transform not a whole lot of steps to it um, yes there are even modifications to even to make this even better if you so wish um, Again, I'm not really going to do a whole lot of modifications to mine because I, I like their take on it. I think what they did was really cool. Um, I'm, I'm really happy with this, with this set. And this is just one more unique G1 Optimus Prime in my collection. Um, there is weapon vehicle storage. What you can do is you can take the handle here and push it up like that. And then just rotate it. And it fits perfectly in this slot right there in between his legs so you just got a little bit more um, kind of mechanical looking stuff right there in the bed of the truck it does roll really really well those are actually rubber tires on the set because lego likes to do rubber tires with their sets which is awesome and there you have it there is the Lego Optimus Prime. What do you guys think of this set? Is this a set you have to pick up? Um, I know it's a little bit pricey. It's like 175 bucks before tax. Um, but Lego has been, from what I've seen, done a very good job of keeping this in stock. Um, before I had, before I put together the money to pick up my set, um, I, had, I had gone like a week prior. And they only had like three or four on shelf. And I was like, oh man, I... All right, well, I got to put this together soon because I got to get this. Um, I went back like three, four days later. People were walking around the mall with them in bags. Um, I walked in. They had mine on hold because I had called in advance to ask them to put one outside just in case they ran out, They were low on stock. And they had full stock on shelves, more in the back. They're, they had said that they had been getting plenty of shipments because this is in high demand. So Lego was doing their best to keep these in stock so if you have a local lego store to you an official lego store that is make sure you call ask them about their availability if this is a piece you're looking for and it's worth it to go pick it up it is it is so awesome take it from a guy who doesn't collect lego and get this awesome set if you love 
Lego if you love Transformers, if you have a love of Optimus Prime like I do, um, which I went over in the first video of this set of three videos. Thank you for turning, tuning in to this set of videos, guys. Make sure you stay tuned for some of our other upcoming content. We have all kinds of content happening all the time here on Bay 12, so just stay tuned for more. We have Bay 12 live sales around the third, fourth-ish Sunday of the month, so stay tuned for those. Make sure you're watching us on social media to know when those are announced, and like and subscribe, follow us on social media, all that good stuff. We'll see you guys later. We'll see you another time. Transform and roll out.